Hello, this is Gogi from Gogi.in and I'm here once again with the Xiaomi Mi 3. As you all know, it's running the MIUI 5 and I'm going to show you some really cool features that this handset comes loaded with. Let's start off with the lock screen. It might look similar to as seen on the other handset, but it's different. Double tap and you get the media player options without actually unlocking the phone. To edit the home screen, pinch using two fingers. You can also pinch using three fingers to create more home screens. There is no limit to the number of home screens you can create but it's always better to keep it as less as possible. Now this is how you would move an application on many other handset but on MIUI it makes it even simpler. You can also move multiple applications from one home screen to the other home screen. It is just so simple. If the app icons are not properly aligned, just shake it and your work is done. You can create a folder and place all the related application in that folder for better management. Here is another way to edit the home screen, just tap and hold, that's it. I'm going to create a folder, tap move apps, then tap an app and you'll get a folder option here, just tap it and just place the application inside that folder. You can keep adding related application inside this folder. You can also name the folder. Deleting a folder is pretty simple. Just tap and drag the folder to the top and you'll get the delete option. When the handset is in the lock mode, you can tap and hold the home button for some time that will activate the LED flash. This is the torch light. Activating the torch light using this method is pretty handy without actually going through several processes. Press the power button to switch off. I've loaded multiple application, tap and hold the menu button. To get the list of apps that are currently running, tap and hold any application and move on top to remove that. Tap this button to close all these apps. In case you want to avoid closing these two apps, just tap and drag down. This will lock these apps. You see the lock icons there? Now if I press the, the clean button, it will close all of the apps except for the ones that are locked. To remove the lock, follow the same process, just tap and drag it down and it will remove the lock. There are three different battery indicators. There is the graphical option, this is how it looks. The percentage option, you will see the percentage here. And the top bar option, you will get this bar on the top. To remove any application that you have installed, just tap and drag it on the top and you will get the uninstall option. I was able to install the Google camera. You get these options, photosphere, panorama, lens blur. Try this application, it's really cool. There is one interesting feature in the default camera application. To use that option, make sure you switch to the advanced mode. And once you have switched to the advanced mode, in settings you will find this option here. It is the focus mode. There is auto focus, macro and manual focus. Manual focus is something that you usually don't find on smartphone cameras. And I must say this works pretty well. I have placed two objects at a distance just to give you an idea on how you can manually control the focusing. The next best thing about the MIUI are the themes. I have installed several themes and here is an interesting one, the Android L. This is how the next version of Android would look. This is just a theme running on KitKat. Here is another theme, the Toon World. Some of the themes completely change the look and the way they work. As you can see here, use two fingers to drag down and you will get a completely new interface which is again pretty interesting. It has got all the stuffs here. You can also move back to the standard theme. Coca Cola is another theme. I however do not like the icons but the lock screen is pretty interesting. When you unlock you get this sound. What happens when you open the can after shaking it? Well, you can actually check that out.
You can also set up the buttons the way you want. For example, the back button. Here are the several options you can choose from. When using the contact application, you can use the menu button. Go to the settings. You'll find the hide photo and info, assign contact photos. You can also set up the call recording option to record automatically if you want to. You can import export contacts from this sim or from the phone. There is another unique feature that you'll find in the contacts settings. Organize contacts. Merge duplicate contacts. This option will help you clean up your duplicate contacts. When you make or receive a call, you will get these options. You can record the call or take down some notes. Tap the note option and you can note down important points even when the call is active. Just tap return to call to get back to the call. When you end the call, the contents that you noted down will pop up. Well, that's it for now. The MIUI version 5.0 seems very interesting. It would be more interesting to see what MIUI 6 will come loaded with. Do visit my website to know more about the MI3.